So I just watched Mission Impossible 7 Dead Reckoning Part 1 that's a long name and uh, I know I'm late but is the film overhyped? That's the question we had to ask answering and this will be spoiler discussion guys so be aware welcome to New Society known as Prince run by Manoj Matthews and Varun who's drinking water nothing else. Yeah it's water. This <laughs> lady. <laughs> Uh, so guys, should I start because I just saw it today? Yeah, you you start. You so help us recover. I didn't, the I didn't go in with like too much expectation. Like I know people are saying it's one of the best and this and that. And <laughs> I was like, yeah, cool. And uh, yeah, I pretty much like enjoyed it. I had a good time. It's not like I didn't like it or something. My favorite part <laughs> of Mission Impossible has been the design of the action scenes and stunts because you know there's a logic to them. When they say it's it's called Mission Impossible, they bring that in the narrative that each action that happens, it feels like impossible. And they design it really well. It's not, you know, suddenly like, why is this character here? What is he doing? What is the aim of the scene? You know, like that's what I found in the uh, James Gunn, uh, not James Gunn, sir. James, James, Bond. Bond. James Bond films. Fast and Furious yeah. has no Bond. logic at all. <laughs> Fast and Furious, like, you know, you enjoy that insaneness. Mm. That's mm. James Bond is like this action scene has no point, you know, it's like just just to make it big, they are doing whatever it's happening. There's no logic into it. So I think in that sense, I think this has MI has been the best franchise and I could see that. I really like the the villain concept of AI and how mm. AI, AI thinks his biggest opponent is <laughs> Ethan Hunt. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I like that. Like, see, he's your main guy. Of course, you will build him up as the only no, person in the world. He's so unpredictable. So it kind of makes sense. Why he is he, me, you know? Uh, is he? I don't know. But anyways, uh, I'd, I'd say I also uh, don't give me the benefit for doubt. I don't have knowledge of previous films that much <coughs> to break down Ethan Hunt's character. But no, the no, guy... They, they started developing the character after four movies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can say I don't three, from three, from three. <laughs> yeah, the character changed in every movie. But I don't remember one, two, those three, movies two, also, three, huh? So I don't can pinpoint his arc. That's what I'm saying. So no, what, what I know he's six. a good guy. He yeah. do the, the you know right thing always, and he'll save. He'll try to save everyone, and that's yeah, his biggest. Any, yeah, <laughs> that's his big, biggest weakness. Like tested him on that and. That was an amazing edited scene, but I hated it because they killed my favorite. Guys, spoilers. Rebecca yeah, Ferguson. She's the only person I can just look and admire my own life. And they, first of all, didn't give her any dialogues. She was barely in the film and they killed her twice. First in the yeah. beginning, they give, yeah. did that off fake. thing and fake death. <laughs> And later, then they killed her. And I still believe she's not dead. She'll come back in the next one. Yeah, I also I don't hope be- so. I think it was Ethan's plan to divert or something like that. No, I just yes, wanted to bring people. one point about... Uh, uh, sorry, one. <laughs> no, I, I just wanted to ex- I like just elaborate on what I meant by uh, Ethan being the uh, arch nemesis for the AI. Like the chosen one. What I meant was the fact that, you know, he is someone who will improvise on the spot, which is something which the AI can't really predict. That's what I was trying to mean. Like, you know, if you yeah. watch it across the movies, he will, like, uh, for, for me, what uh, what always springs to mind is that Booch Khalifa sequence, where, uh, you know, the, where they came to know that, oh, it actually Hendrix has brought someone else. And, you know, he improvises on the way that, okay, we'll go without mask. You know, we'll do this. Yeah. That's Those are risks which no agents will take. Like, that's that's why that the Jeremy ran the sequence where he's like, no, we can't do this. But then he agrees. So I, that's what I meant by the arch uh, nemesis thing, which uh, I c- could understand. Even though I do have some issues with the villain thing. Uh, and about Elsa, I totally agree with that. I mean, they hardly gave her much to do. Uh, because the focus was on uh, he, uh, like uh, Captain Carter, Agent Carter's character, I forgot, Haley Atwell. Haley yes, Atwell. I got the name. I got the name. So uh, it was on Haley Atwell, which I liked because it kind of drew on the origins of, you know, who Ethan Hunt is, you know, the, the starting of it. So it's like paralleling that journey with her character, which is a Ooh. great way of doing the ending. Yes, I didn't uh, <laughs> <laughs> At least that's how I saw it. That, that's how I got it. Yeah. So, I kind of like that, but I really was a little disappointed with the way how uh, Christopher McCurry, the writer, he handled Elsa's character because he's the one who created this guy, like, you know, in Mission Impossible 5. So it, it felt a little short, changed in some ways in the way how they created her. But yeah, like, I yeah, let's hope that she comes back. But I don't know how I how I would feel with that also. Like, because so far, they have not really done that. It's Mr. like... Dude, come on. They brought his no, vibe they back. They never, like, killed a character in one film. 
and brought them back in the next film. If you see, all of the characters have died, have stayed dead from the first mission. See, there are two things. The death is not majestic enough, you know. It's not big it's enough, a, and they don't yeah. even deal with it for a long time. Just. Mm. There's a scene after that and then they just move on to the next plan now. Uh, yeah. They didn't spend time with it. That's one thing. So it feels like, you know, no closure or injustice kind of. And exactly. now you want injustice, you want her to come back. You know, you cannot just kill her like that. But you know, if, if she comes back narratively, you'll feel oh, cheated. Like what nonsense. That, that it's is like a, a cheap a weird spot. Yeah. Like if I'm they don't really bring sure her, it'll be, we'll, no, we'll be sad. If they bring her, we'll be like, ah, come on. Yeah. Double edged sword. Yeah. Both, it's wrong. What do you guys think about the bike scene in the movie? The, the bike scene? Main scene. The main action scene. The oh, bike that honestly, the I was like, that it was more fun in the the eight minute video that came out. Honestly, no, I I no. I loved I loved till he jumped and there's a really cool angle from the side. I don't know how they shot it. Like he is going like this and you get an angle from here. That looked really cool. But after that, when he crashes into the tree, that felt very underwhelming to me. I was like, oh, that's it. Like I I was expecting a little bit more of him. Like I know it's very difficult because they're doing it practically and everything. But no, but I, I think that's in the head also, right? That you spend so much money and so much time yeah. and effort to do this one stunt, but it's just barely. What? Not even 30, 40 seconds? And then True. and then you feel like, oh, they are doing this cheap trick that, oh, you are showing the same thing from different angles. So just show we did this long. I actually ended up being a gimmick, you know? Right. Like I felt I enjoyed the jump more in that 8-minute video than in the film mm -hmm. itself. I like totally yeah. found it. And, the, you know, we say he doesn't use CGI real stunts, but actually wherever CGI and VFX was there, I could notice it. And yeah, I was just out of the film bad. in those moments. I like, ah, true, cool, true. fine. Especially, Especially with the, the, train. the train part. Yeah. Yeah. So much of it. Especially when they, in the cave. I know it's hmm. not real. They cannot go to that extent. You cannot even yeah. shoot a scene like this. So I know it's CG. So, you know, it's, 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 yeah. Anyways. For me, like, uh, what I wanted to, like, continue, I agree with what you're saying. Here, but continuing to that, I think, like, in, like, if you remember fourth one when they showed the Burj Khalifa sequence, we knew only parts of it. Like, yeah. the full sequence came together in the movie. And that's a big Same sequence. With, it's like, that's a big sequence. It's like long. <laughs> Same with Fallout. Like, the helicopter, we knew he was doing the helicopter, and we knew about the halo jump, but the full sequence, the story and everything came together on screen, right? But for this, it didn't feel like there was, like, initially it was fun. You know, Benji was, like, the way how Benji is directing him and telling him to go out the clip, that was really fun. But after that, I felt like it needed something more before the sequence ended, so that, you know, we felt like, oh, this is something we didn't see in the behind the scenes that we got in the movie. Yeah. So I think that was, but I can understand because, look, I know this movie's budget soared up. It was shot during COVID. And I think considering everything, they did the best because it, it never felt like it, like it was really, when I thought back, I was thinking it was shot during COVID and everything. While watching the movie, I never thought that, oh, this is good. Uh, this was shot during COVID. That's probably why they cut some corners here. Like I never thought of it that way. So I think in that front, they did do good. But I also want to say one more thing. This did come after Fallout. And Fallout was like the best MI move. Like they just yeah. hit the peak there. So it was always going to be hard to like, you know, top that. I don't think it really topped it. Uh, irrespective of what the reviews are saying. I think it's a solid, decent installment in the series. But I'm more excited for part two to see where this goes. Because yeah, exactly. I think Tom Cruise was Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill is a villain. He just killed it, man. Like, there was so much personality to his villain. Like, in this one, the villain, for me, he felt a little, little underwhelming. But I'm hoping that maybe in the next movie, I'll feel him to be a more... For me, the concept person. was more interesting because the AI suddenly, yes, we see in the beginning how heavily they depend on technology to do yes. this work, yes. what they do. And suddenly, when you get, uh, you know, what you handicapped in that sense, right? So I was expecting now what you do. But later, yeah. you know, they brought, oh, we got some analog thing and we can still use digital things. But this now AI cannot tamper. Like, yeah. ah, okay. That's, yeah. A cheap trick. But I think in the next one, they're going to be using like really old planes and stuff. So I kind of want to see that like really old technology. Like, <laughs> like they're improvising it and trying to use it. That'll be fun, I think. At the end, like, I was thinking, is so... how is he going to space now for next one? <laughs> That's one of my question. No, space is not a mission possible. It's a different one. Ah, okay. <laughs> but here guys I would like to take up a uh, moment to say we have membership now on the channel and this discussion is actually going live for members right now and we have a member in the chat talking to us so if you want some exclusive content this is a long discussion but we have to cut down uh, to put it on YouTube so you can enjoy all that there if you like our discussion so <laughs> Shelly says bowl of soup uh, for Nona she will not come back because 
she has seen she has been replaced i think haley oh, oh, okay. has been that says and i was thinking the mask thing it was not her and <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I love the. Complicated. I love the crashing into the train scene. I also like the humor with the motorcycle scene. Yes. <laughs> I no. think there were multiple moments. Even the crashing into it's very unexpected. You hmm. feel there'll be more, and yeah, there's a yeah. lot of sequences. You know, they did a <laughs> smart editing trick while shooting mm. that you know the uh, when uh, he uh, gets Haley out of that when he says he's a lawyer. Mm, and when yes. they come out then again they don't show us you know him throwing those balls wearing that same thing we yeah, just yeah, see yeah. the, just the, the police inspector smoke. entering the smoking yeah. area and the next mm. scene is he putting those things in the dustbin yeah. so it's a smart trick that you don't have to again show everything sure. yeah. so they did that more times in the film to different places and then this thing that if you're showing how he came and what he thought he just crashed and it, yeah. that moment works so mm. that uh, was really good Uh, and the motorcycle jump was actually not as awesome as a train crash yeah train crash also you know it's like it went on for too long for me like yeah okay no. it was apparently longer in the cutting they cut it I down i actually <laughs> so i actually liked it because the there was no villain fight or anything like it yeah. was a different kind of climax that they are true, just true. trying yeah. to you know, escape that so yeah I, that, yeah but yeah. I, i was like you know okay how many you will go now so it, <laughs> they were, they were actually that jump cutting right So they were in, they oh, were trying to come out and then cut to they are already out and then the next one and right. you know it just it just felt abrupt yeah. and you're just cutting off space. So I'm not totally in real time with these characters trying to escape it. So I, I feel like that. this is like oh the I, next I now next yeah. now next now. It I, I like with the kitchen stuff and uh, like yeah. the utensils and yeah. the. But then we never see them <laughs> coming out of that and then we cut to mm-hmm. they are already in the next one and then they are already in the next yeah. one like. <laughs> I like, like the way how all these locations that we saw saw in the entire like last half an hour. We are going through all those locations again. Yeah, except this time they are just trying it's to escape. It's vertical. Yeah, <laughs> I like that, that shot uh, where he says Haley to Haley at this character that you have to let go of me, and she's still she knows, but she still holds on to yeah. that was funny. <laughs> I think there's a human yeah. things that happens through the film. Yeah, yeah. you know, like the mm-hmm. airport sequence also was really fun. Uh, was the fun. Rome chase Kachis, sequence was really good. The Kachis cool. was amazing. I didn't feel I the really time it is going for too long, and then there was little abruptness, you know, when they like there's some yeah, places I felt, like, I felt okay, the pacing was a little off. It is. Again and, the pacing yeah. was a bit off for me in some like okay we were here and then they cut to they already in the chase like you know something like that was off, but <laughs> that's true. I think Fallout and okay, Ghost next. Protocol had the best pacing in the action scenes for me so far in the yeah, series. Yeah, because I think if you spend a whole time, you know, on it, there's a whole story arc narrative there. Like in the uh, airport scene, there's a whole story narrative. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. you have to go through. So I think uh, like that it was. Uh, but uh, what about the ending? Like I heard a lot of people are not happy with it. I felt it was fine. It was nice setup for the next and closure yeah, of yeah. what we got here. It had me here. hooked. It had me excited. It had me excited for the next. Like yeah. uh, for me, this yeah, yeah go on, go on, go on. Oh no no! I was just okay. I wanted to add that I I was worried while watching the movie that in the end they will show that it's not an AI. It's actually some person oh, behind uh, who is. And I was like, worst. please don't be, please don't be. And then like it was actually an AI. So now I'm like, and I hope they don't do this in second film also. That oh, it's some one person controlling the whole thing. It's it's, it's, an it's Henry Cavill. Yeah. It's Mustache Henry Cavill. <laughs> the CGI yeah. Mustache like, Henry Cavill. I want it to be AI. Same, I same. I want it to be AI. I want it to be someone you cannot punch. And one more thing, I don't want to forget. Did you guys notice there was just too many close-up scenes? Yeah, the, I noticed it. I there was never just felt too oh. because you know so I many, I noticed yeah. it the most, and there were a lot of Dutch angles, lot of Dutch mm-hmm. angles, especially when a cat is talk, giving a long monologue. So first show yeah. Dutch angle, we are there this yeah. side. And cut to yeah. then they are on this side, and yeah, just yeah, throwing yeah. me off. Especially and then, especially in the first, like when he's talking with what Kittridge or what's it, the Kittridge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. in that the first yeah, in the that, green thing. That entire did. conversation was there were so many like close-ups yeah. in that, but I like I liked it. I it, but it also in that uh, post interval, like for me interval, uh, when they go in that party and they all together, so we don't get a not even one establishing shot. You know, it's like first just mid shots. When they, uh, you know, uh, the guy, uh, what's his name? Gabriel, Gabriel. The villain. Yeah, Gabriel, yeah, yeah. right? Gabriel yeah, comes to uh, Grace, 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 
and he says uh, i'll tell you the story and all then vanessa kirby's character comes and tom cruise comes they don't give an establishing shot at all so we don't get a whole scene you know we just get close ups close up close ups and the more they start talking we got more close ups yeah and then the close ups and then the other character is behind and the clo- the uh, focus shifts on that character and <laughs> it just felt which scenes are you referring to though the like exactly. party scene when party they go in that night club all of them are club. sort of together and talking Okay. There's a villain Gabriel. There's that Vanessa Kirby's character. I understood. Uh, no, all of them sitting is, together, no. She also enters. And she has to decide. Uh, she gonna give the AI the keys or uh, some country the keys. Yeah, yeah. I must say, I must be honest. Like I don't remember because it's been a it's been a couple of weeks since I watched it. I don't but remember the, the close-ups used. I but. actually have a theory about. <laughs> I think it it made me very uneasy. Yes, mm-hmm. and I true, feel, true. and in that scene, we they ex- explain that the AI is also there. Yeah. yeah. So I feel it they were making you cre- yeah. feeling creepy that something is wrong. You know, it's just yeah, too close. Yeah, and I think that it gave me and <coughs> that Ali fight do it was so suffocating. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> But that, that was also intentional, I guess. Yeah. So like well done, I would say. Yeah. Like so, exactly. Yeah. I, I want to continue to. Like so if you watch, uh, no, I don't think Nona has watched Mission Impossible One, but even in Mission Impossible One, there's a scene between uh, Tom Cruise and uh, Kit Ridge, the character you see in the starting and ending of this movie. Like they yeah. both have this uh, confrontation. So in that, uh, like si- Kit Ridge is slowly accusing him of being the mole that got the team killed. So in the starting, the team gets killed. So so even in that, you have so many like you know. it keeps going like it keeps going closer closer the angle starts becoming dutch showing the more distress between the characters so i i like based on what you're saying i think that's what they like, i'm not trying to re, try to redo that but you know it's a, like a parallel i can see with the first mission was a movie with what they were doing here so, yeah for me i think the thought of ai you know that creepiness i think it worked like but i, I was like okay this is too much close up angles throughout the film uh but uh, one more thing i want to talk about the ending the last line is basically the ai saying right the whole thing of you choose to accept yeah. and all <laughs> that yeah. i really like that <coughs> that was really good i really like that i do like how it's like really uh, exploring imf like really exploring the agent part like even in the starting like you know you have like a young agent giving him tom cruise the the mission and i thought that was a very nice touch we It, it sort of humanized the agency in some way. Before that, it was just like a robot voice giving him a mission and stuff like that. But now it's sort of you know I, I kind of like that. Like it's humanizing the journey that the agents go through from being uh, you know like in, in this movie they actually said that they are, all of them were convicted of something and they were given the choice to you know be an IMF agent or you know basically rot in prison. Like so I, I kind of like that. You know we're getting more details about. uh i think maybe it was done in the tv show i'm not aware i've not watched a lot of it but it, it was fun that in the movie they sort of try to give more depth to the whole thing which you don't really see later installments do but i kind of like christopher mccurry goes to that director but, uh, the the introduction they establish that what happened to her wife i guess is that part of some yeah, film yeah the mi3 and uh, mi4 but coming. she survives right yeah mi6 also she's there right in the end she's uh, She never died. Oh, yeah. yeah, she never dies. Okay. Julie, right? It she's there in MI6 also. Like when they go to Kashmir, she is one of the nurses there and then she helps in producing one of the why bombs. Is then, uh, why is he so angry with the Gabriel guy? Like if she survives then No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're talking about the first Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Uh, like the first the girl they show getting killed. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. yeah that, of, that is never mentioned in of, any of the MI films. Oh, that's a new, that's a new thing. thing. Okay. That's a new thing. Yeah, that's a new thing. Okay. So with that, so I, I'm asking: Is we do we know the past of Ethan Hunt? No, we don't. So okay, okay, got it. We only know like from MI. Right? In okay. the first film, also he's in the first film he's presented as a rookie sort of like not a rookie agent but a young agent still like yeah. you know he yeah. he's like Phoenix stuff Phoenix. like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There were no subtitles, which really didn't I didn't like. So for me there was uh so let explain the plot so what happened at the end when we find out that the submarine was of us only no submarine was not a because US later thing. gabriel kills a guy right the main agent of us like yeah, he, yeah, he the, knows where the coordinates are something like that yeah that's why i think he kills him so that no one else can get the chance of uh, 
like you know go, going but what and, happened with the submarine that's my question it's still under it's still no, no. under the ocean he explains right that who submarine was it all of that what was they they doing with it and all of that right yeah, see, from, what remember, from what i remember from what i remember it's been two weeks <laughs> from what i remember uh, he says that they first used the ai to infiltrate that submarine and to change the whole uh, tracking say, mechanism stuff and they sort of got it to attack its own ship uh, by uh, stuff like that but by doing so the 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 sort of key that sort of activated it sort of got set the ai free is what i understood and the keys got lost so uh, basically we had to find the key and the location of the submarine so the that the submarine is the only way that they can stop the ai basically from expanding so and the location of the submarine is not known to anyone and it was only known to that uh, us i forgot what is a us official and that's why he kills him so that no one else knows but the other person who is with gabriel who he kills he the, she does give the location like at least a hint of a location to the ethan name, right the name she so, says uh, uh, yeah so like at least where like an approx proximate location of where the submarine is so i think that's that was also a very interesting character yeah he tells but, her i think she was there more you have like, to uh, he says to her that you have to betray me because he saved you yes and then she saves him yeah and she says yes, okay yes. i betrayed him and it like yeah okay i need to watch no, it no, because she he had saved him saved her earlier right in that ali yes. fight he didn't kill yeah, her he let her he let yeah her so that's why like based on the calculations you know now this is what i say from memory because someone in the comments will say no 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 there is some like so <laughs> please do write and let me know like because it's been two weeks it's been a while i watched open time in middle yeah, of that <laughs> yes i wanted to watch this again but so many movies not enough time yeah so many movies if it's still yeah. there next week, but i also want to watch babi so i don't know how do i <laughs> manage that and an interesting dilemma yes. but uh, <laughs> overall <coughs> there was one more point and i totally forgot maybe in the I, beginning like i i think the whole meta thing about uh, you know especially like tom cruise fighting against ai yeah yeah do i really do that <laughs> trick, trick trick he uses in the airport deep fake yeah the yeah, people yeah. turning into tom cruise <laughs> that's such a meta thing <laughs> I do I love how the police like he kept like touching the mask like touching the screen that was really fun. <laughs> that was that was really fun. I I, I enjoyed his character. I thought he was a good inclusion to be I think. Really like, fun. Uh, to sum up right for me this movie felt a lot like uh, Mission Impossible 5 for me. Rogue Nation where I was like I am one of the few people who was not very impressed by MI5. Like I like the movie. I had no like it was not like I but compared to four and if you compare to six and six which came after like those two movie four and six left me going like yeah man that was fun like you know like but uh, like because five was had a little bit of a somber ending but I enjoyed five a lot more when I when six came out because it acted as a perfect uh, precursor to six because you know you had Solomon Lane returning and stuff like that so I think this so that's how I'm feeling after watching this. But I feel it's a solid installment. But I don't like. Like I would never be like this is the MI movie that you need to watch. I'd be like if you watch the others, you can watch this. That kind of thing. Running scenes. Oh one yes. One at the airport and one in the nightclub when he runs yeah, out yeah, with the yeah. candles. Yeah. That was <laughs> the nightclub one was so like it was just going. I was just imagining right? Manoj watching those scenes. I was like Manoj. <laughs> <laughs> But I liked after the nightclub also when he runs to Elsa. I was like, dude, stay there, like stay. That scene the reminded run. me of uh, Ghost Protocol. Through the alley yes. in the dust, he's running. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, I can see. But yeah, man, Tom Cruise, uh, great job, fun film. Fantastic. I hope it does well. It didn't open that well. Uh, yeah, a little bit. And the open my own Barbie. Like I think they did a such a bad job in releasing it just one week before. Because uh, usually Tom Cruise movies it does well in the long run. I don't think they should have like, done two movies. I think there was weeks. a week or two before where there were no releases and no one. Yeah, released. they could have just pre-pondered by at least one week. It would have helped the movie a lot. But I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe they money. couldn't do that. But it, it was a weird decision because it was not just Oppenheimer. It was Barbie also. Like I, not, I know the audience. IMAX screens are take. been taken away taken so. by openheimer and i know the audience is different but still like your your major of the series screens are going to be taken away from mi so you know it, that was a very bad play especially if you compare with the track record of the previous I mi movie i feel like if where, the film holds up 
like in few yeah. s- it's these screens and goes on for long i think people will go and watch people will yeah. like but it had the biggest uh, drop compared to the other mi movies for the second week no but Which because of because of this yeah, right it, but you know you could you could see like because uh, mission was followed also open to same number see but avatar 2 right people like mm-hmm. the first weekend we were like it's a flop it's not going to make money I but it have, made money on a long time and it made true, 2 billion true, true. dollars i i have i have con I, I not i'm optimistic i really hope it does because this is the most expensive movie also the franchise like it needs to go at least 600 700 million like minimum and right now it's at 370 something so i'm i'm really optimistic and i i, I know the release part to irrespective of this but you know with the writer strike and everything you never know what's going to happen so i hope it makes these in yeah. amount of money and you know like But guys, yeah. do let us know your thought in the comments below. Uh, what do you think? And uh, again, if you want to support us, you can become a member now. So we still have content. Uh, you know, one of us went to Italy, uh, so we shared our thoughts on that also. So some geek, uh, you know, uh, what the geek went through in Italy and all those horror stories. This is the first time I'm hearing of this. <laughs> <laughs> so become a member to know all that. Uh, so that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Keep being out.